Hi everybody, my name is Two Saints. Um, rank 35 MPGR in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Uh, just gotta throw that out there so I, I'm somewhat credible for talking on the subject. Uh, also, uh, I play Jigglypuff, so I gotta throw that out there also because I am very affected by a rule set change such as this. And I gotta throw it out there for bias reasons. But I do not think my reasoning behind not backing up the best of five band is deeply rooted into playing Jigglypuff. I think it's more around uh, competitive integrity and just, you know, I think it's just kind of weird how this is going to, how things will work out if we end up implementing best of five bands. So my first concern is that if we do best of five bands and um, the game goes, uh, the set goes to game five, that means that somebody will be double counterpicking somebody to the same stage. Also, there would be no reason to not counterpick to the same stage that you've already won on in that set. There would be absolutely no reason to not do that. Um, which would then further um, less stages basically being played. So... What do I mean by that? By less stages being played. So basically, all somebody needs to do is use two stages to win the set. Is what I'm saying. They only need two stages to win a set, which is the biggest concern for me. You can win Battlefield. You then, you know, then you lose, and then you win on their counter pick or something, and then yada yada yada. Then you're back to Battlefield. <laughs> so you you are actually making the stage list artificially smaller by including this as a rule you know you only have to win two stages to win the set which i think is crazy to me it's it's crazy to me that that could happen right now you have to win on three separate stages regardless of the fact and now you have to win on only two and the problem with this is, and that's why I have been saying that this is definitely a Spacey's buff, is that, you know, a lot of characters in the game, they're, you know, they're good on a few stages, but they're pretty horrible on some. You know, Spacey's are terrible on FD in some matchups. So they would like to have that matchup banned. Uh, do I like to have FD banned against Marth? and what that kind of leads into is that now the fox player will get to only they will only need to win on two certain stages pretty much and one stage can be like their true counter pick or you know this is a stage that fox is you know inherently good on i'm not too familiar with the matchup i can't really speak on it but I do know that since Fox is the best character in the game, that he just inherently wins matchups straight up. So some characters need a stage to make the, the matchup more in their favor. But in the end, it still isn't really in their favor because they still win the matchup. You know what I'm saying? So basically, what's going to happen is the character will lose their best stage. And yes, Fox also will lose their best stage, but at the end of the day, Fox still wins the matchup in most matchups, which is why I say it's a Spacey's buff. It's not like, oh, Fox Sheik is even, so now Sheik gets the ban FD, suddenly it, things are more fair. In reality, not really, because what's going to happen is you just get counterpicked back to... Um, the stage that you lost on you know what if you got like four stock on that stage oh guess what you have to go back you're gonna go back anyway so <laughs> it, it just doesn't seem right to me to to do that um it's it doesn't really feel competitive to go back to a stage you've already lost on and i know this only happens in best of five sets and we can also just not do day stupid rule we could just force the five stages to be played um uh, five sep five completely separate stages to be played and that's also just kind of weird um you're you're basically gonna force characters to just go to stages that they're inherently just not that great at 
Um, also, are we actually ready for this meta change? Like, this meta shift? This will be... This <laughs> one rule change alone will change the tier it will definitely change the tier list no doubt in my mind the tier list will be flipped on its fucking head because we decided the band stages <laughs> in a best of five set let's be honest here like falco without yoshis um yoshi without yoshis let's see pikachu well fod marf without his fd fox without Fox without question mark because honestly Fox pretty much dicks on every character in the game uh, uh, don't, get, don't get mad at me Fox fans I just think your character is pretty good I also think Falco is pretty good but still there there is just not a lot of good to really come out of this it's it's like, yeah, I, I get to ban a stage that my character sucks on against X character and they get to do the same. But then, you know, we're only playing on so little stages at this point now. We're only going to be playing on Battlefield and FOD and, you know, just true neutral stages. And it's like this, it, it's like kind of a slippery slope type of deal where now we're just kind of going in the direction that 64 is where we're just going to eventually, you know, limit the list. And, you know, now we're only playing on Battlefield. Like, like someone's just gonna find some bullshit with X character on X stage and be like, you know what, that shit needs to be banned too. And, and I forgot where the slippery slope kind of occurred because it's definitely happening now in Melee. Like, it's definitely for sure happening right now that we are, we're, we're you know, we're making an outcry, I guess. And I guess I just want to speak on it because I think it just affects too much it affects the whole cast it will definitely change the tier list for sure like i think a rule set change that can effectively do that for pretty much everybody it's just too it's a it's a bit much in my opinion i think it just i think it just does too much basically Especially that Pokemon Stadium is not frozen either makes this kind of a big deal. That's I know that's a big thing in people's minds is that like oh Pokemon, uh the stage is like RNG basically. So it's not <laughs> it needs to be banned like outright. People people think Pokemon Stadium should be banned outright. And like I said before, I, I personally believe that Pokemon Stadium is like pretty cool. That you get more different stages. I think it's pretty cool. You gotta play around it. Um but yeah, that's my take. I don't really like it because I think it just do, it does too much for the game. It will just flip the tier list on its head. Best of five sets will be really fucking dumb once they go game five because then the person just counterpicks the stage they've already won on, which is horrible in my opinion. Like, just imagine... Just imagine right now if you, if you were to go back to FD after Marf already won on that stage. Uh, as, a, as a fox. As a fox. Imagine if you're a fox and that happens. That would be horrible, okay? That's like essentially going to happen to some characters. Pretty much. Or, at worst, it's going to happen to... You know, I've heard some things like, oh, one ban a set. Which is interesting. That's That's... That's far more interesting to just having a stage flat out auto banned because, you know, you can make it count where you can make that ban really count, you know, like you're going to game like now you're at game five and then you ban this stage that they're actually really good on. But very likely they've already won on that stage. So I think it probably wouldn't work in practice either way, you know, so well, although it is a good idea, it most likely won't will also not really work because People would likely to save the ban uh, when they really need it, which is, yeah, of course, the game five. And then it would just ban the stage that they would oh, already want on, but they can't go back on it anyway. So, yeah, I don't think that'd work. But, you know, there are, I don't know. It's just like, 
Isn't it really a pro to change the entire game? The way it's played? Is it? Is it really? This is definitely going down the rabbit hole of Dreamland. Uh, not Dreamland. <laughs> I said Dreamland because I'm thinking about 64 right now. Like, N64 Smash Bros. So basically, they only play on that one stage, right? Are we heading in that direction? Is that where this is going to lead? Because people already want Stadium banned or Frozen, but seeing that Nintendo is now stepping in and TOs kind of want their support, it seems like a Stadium ban is more likely than it being Frozen anytime soon. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. We're going we're gonna to put bans and sets, and after bans and sets, we're going <laughs> to... I don't know. I don't know where we really go from there, but...